Hey everybody, it's Kelsey. So, um, today's video, I wanted to talk about resolutions and why they can set us up for failure. So, in the past, I have been one of those types of people that's like, okay, I'm going to lose all of this weight. I'm going to get myself out of debt. I'm going to eat healthier. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And Okay, so it's years later and I still have not lost that weight. I still have not gotten myself out of debt and I'm still not eating any healthier than I was. Uh, well, I can't say that. Uh, I do, I have been eating a lot healthier than I was. I mean, I'm not like downing an entire box of toaster strudels in one sitting anymore. Thank God. <laughs> um, but... Here's why I think resolutions fail. I think we set ourselves up for that failure. Why? Because we look at this long-term goal. And if there's one thing I've learned from building a business, every business plan I've ever looked at, you have to break. You, you have your short-term goals and you have your, I guess, kind of mid goals and then you have your long-term goals. I think when we make resolutions, we look at the big picture, but we don't look at the steps to get there. We, we, it's like we're, we're looking at, we're looking at the top of a pyramid and we're imagining ourselves being up there, but we're at the bottom right now and we're imagining ourselves being at the top of this pyramid, but we're not really thinking about all of the steps that we have to take and all of the things that are gonna hold us back because as any of you know, life happens and that's okay. Life teaches us a lot. It's all about how you perceive things. If you change your perspective, that can really make a huge difference in the way you look at virtually anything in life. Um, and that's something that I have really worked on for, I would say probably the past three years, I've really worked on personal development and changing my mindset on a lot of things. And where I was three years ago is a lot different from where I am now. Um, I don't, I, I look at the smaller things now and put value in those smaller things as building myself towards that bigger thing that I really want. And I'm looking more at those steps to being at the top of the pyramid. So let's imagine I'm just going to take weight loss, for example. Um, now, take this with a grain of salt because this is, you know, this is... Um, this is just an example. So let's say we want to lose 50 pounds by the end of the year. Okay. For some people that may be a very attainable goal. For some people that may not be. Um, for someone who is very overweight, losing 50 pounds is a fairly easy thing to do. And um, the smaller you are, I have found that it's a little bit harder to lose those 50 pounds, but I digress. Um, so let's imagine that the long-term goal is 50 pounds in a year. Okay, so we lose that first pound. It's like, okay, one pound down, 49 to go. That, that number itself, 49, is such a huge number. And... While you can get there, I think it's much easier to break that huge goal down into small steps. So let's break it down to, let's say you want to lose 50 pounds in 10 months. Okay, so five pounds a month, which is something that's very, fairly easy to do. Plus, if something happens in one month, it doesn't completely derail you. So let's say that the first three months you do great. You lose five pounds each month. And so you're, 
you're at 15 pounds. That fourth month, you kind of struggle a little bit. And you end up not losing anything. Or life happens and you gain a couple back. Because this is something that's happened to me. First three months were great. Fourth month, I plateaued. Gave up, started having heart issues. And I gave up. And then it completely derailed me. So, but if I would have thought of it from this perspective and being like, okay, this was just a bad month. Now it's time to jump back on the train. It's only five pounds. Um, that's a much more doable goal. And it won't completely derail you from what you want to do. So that's my biggest thing is break down your big goals into smaller goals and it's a lot more easily attainable another thing that keeps people accountable or it does for me anyway is keeping a planner keeping a written planner it's fun it's a creative outlet for me um i can see exactly where i was a week ago or a month ago or even several months ago and what mindset I was in and it actually keeps me motivated or you know if it, your goal is weight loss take a class being in there with an instructor who knows who you are who knows what your routine is what your goals are it keeps you a little bit more accountable because the trainer that I had he was wonderful he, if I didn't show up for class one day, he, you best believe he was either Facebook messaging me or he was texting me and being like, uh, where are you at? Why aren't you here? And if I didn't have a really good <laughs> excuse as to why I wasn't there, he was like, uh, I will see you next time and you'll be working twice as hard. I'm like, okay, sorry. <laughs> so it's all about accountability. If you are really good at self-motivating yourself that's awesome but if you're like me and you get really really motivated and you get all excited and then it just kind of gets really dull and you're just kind of like eh, I just don't feel like it today using something like a planner or a journal or some other way to keep you accountable it really helps keep you on track and motivated and find new motivation um, when I'm in the gym, I know I've been using weight loss, but sometimes that's just like the, like right now that's the easiest thing that I can think of. Um, because that's one thing that has changed so much on my perspective is the weight loss thing. I'm not focusing on the scale. I'm focusing on my non-scale victories. So at the beginning of February, which is when I started my weight loss journey, um, at the beginning of February, I had horrible knee pain and was barely able to lift 25 pounds on the leg extension and curl machines. Ten months later, I'm now able to lift 100 pounds on the leg and curl machines on top of other um, ups in weight for different exercises that I do. I'm able to run for like a minute and a half solid, which is a huge thing. And it gets me excited. It gets me motivated to try and work harder and see how I can push my body. And I keep track of that in here. I keep track of everything. That way I can see where I was at this point and where I am now. And it's something that I'm really proud of. Not having knee pain is a wonderful thing. It is, oh, I can't even begin to tell you how bad it used to hurt just sitting at the office, but being able to get up and I actually enjoy working out now and I never thought I would say that. I actually don't mind going and sweating. You know, if I plug in my earbuds and have like this, the heaviest metal that I've got and I'm lifting my weights and feeling good, I love going to the gym. But a lot of times life happens, I have a kid, and sometimes things don't go according to plan. But anyway, um, so that's just a couple of things to think about. Maybe for the next video I will do what my personal resolutions are and share those things with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I don't know why I'm pointing up. Hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.